YouTube. I got a couple small projects here for our Thursday night video. And if you've ever seen on our videos when we're sawing, uh, sometimes we get a knot that gets stuck in the saw here. So I come up with a simple solution to this problem. Is I just made up a piece of quarter inch steel plate. And it's going to sit in this big gap here. And that's where everything gets stuck between that bearing and the saw. And it causes us all kind of grief. So this here will just sit in there and I'll allow about the same spaces between the off bearers belt so nothing nothing uh, big can get jammed in there. And all I'm going to do is just drill a couple holes, put a couple bolts in, and that will correct that problem. So we'll go ahead and drill a couple holes and we'll be back with you here in a second. Okay, it's all installed and no more big chunks of wood can get down between the saw and the uh, blade no more. So that will save a lot of aggravation, just a little little tiny fix. But when you start going through a mill and you start looking at little weak spots, uh, you can find them and it's better to correct them when you have some downtime. So our next step, we're going to go over to the sawdust bin and uh, our next project, uh, we're going to build the doors for the sawdust bin and then try to get that bin piped in. So I'll be with you here in a minute. This bin. And uh, we're going to make two doors and they're going to be four foot high and I'm going to put this piece of walmanized wood we're going to bolt it to this concrete barrier just like that and then the hinges will mount onto here so we'll have something to purchase into and four foot high would be plenty enough to keep the sawdust back inside the bin and if we choose to make this bin bigger someday we can do that so I'm going to put a board on each side um, I'm cutting some uh, of this uh, spruce that we had done last week and uh, I'm going to turn that into the framing lumber for the uh, doors. So it's just going to be a simple half lap door and I'm just going to put uh, 7 16 OSB on it strictly for a uh, just a so it holds the sawdust back. And then back here we're going to disconnect the sawdust pipe and I got enough small pieces instead of going and buying more spiral pipe right now we're trying to save every bit of money we can to do other jobs so we're just going to cut a hole somewhere through the wall here to get that pipe inside and once we get the pipe inside then we'll build some sort of a baffle system that will drop the uh, sawdust straight down into the bin so it don't blow around and the doors will hold it in so that is what we're going to be working on here next so we'll go ahead and get that pipe taken apart and get some wood packed up in a truck and we've got a lot of little projects to do here again so it all catches up with you so all right we'll be with you here in a minute Alrighty, we got the pipe through the wall now and uh, there was a little bit of sawdust left in the uh, pit when I fired it up so what I did inside of here we'll walk around here in fact you can look in here and you can see that I got that piece of canvas hanging up the sawdust hits it and falls straight down so I think one more piece of canvas there we're gonna correct this problem so once we put the doors on here and with this piece of canvas I think we're gonna solve the problem the sawdust just going wild everywhere so uh, just simple solutions keep it simple and uh, we're gonna go back to the workshop here in a minute and we're gonna start working on them two front doors so I will see you back at the workshop okay we're back from the sawmill and I brought some of the uh, thicker boards back from when we were cutting the uh, siding for the uh, sawdust shed so I went ahead and dimensioned all the wood down to uh, two by six so everything's nice and plain and it's a little bit fancy for just a, a gate but it's going to make it easier we're going to do what they call a half lap joint and all this is is we're taking away half the material and we're making a lap joint so i got the dado head set up on a table saw here so we're going to go ahead and show you how we make one of these half lap joints and then we'll go ahead and get ready to put this door together it's just going to be quick and simple so be with you here in a second Okay, we're back at the table saw and I got my dado head set up and this is a wobbler. It, it, what it does is it wobbles back and forth to make a wide path. I got it set three quarter inches high which will be half the thickness of this board and I got the fence set as a stop. And what we're going to do is we're just going to nibble this away and make our joint.
So the way it goes together, what we got laying here, and this is a little bit green, so it's a little bit stringy the way it cuts. And this will be how the corners will work, and then we're just going to apply the OSB over top of here. So we'll go ahead and finish up cutting the uh, couple joints here, and then we'll be ready to assemble on these doors. Be with you here in a minute. For some assembly here, and I got everything checked as far as the squareness of it. So we're just, all we're going to do is put some uh, liquid nails in the joint. Any construction adhesive will work. Don't have to be liquid nails. And all we're going to do push that down. And we'll double check our corner. I know it was 86 and a half to a diagonal made this square. And that's perfect. And we'll get the Finish nail gun. And all we're going to do is just tack the corners until we get some screws in it. And this is that gun I found at the flea market. My $20 gun. Okay, now we're just going to pre drill it. And we're going to put hinge screws in it. Being a carpenter, I find a lot of these screws, we just throw them away when we're using metal doors. So these are like a number 14 screw. And they're very heavy duty. So we'll go around and do the corners all the same. And then we'll flip it over. And we'll put like a different powder, maybe two across the opposite. So that way you're pulling from both sides. So. We'll go ahead and put this together, and then we'll be ready to put the OSB on it. I'll be with you here in a minute. Okay, the frame is now made. Um, we got the half lap joints all screwed and glued together. I double checked the squareness on it. So all we're going to do now is apply some more construction adhesive just around the perimeter. And like I said, anything will work. You could actually use uh, wood glue if you wanted. And. This OSB will be a perfect uh, panel for the door, because it'll put up with a lot of a lot of years of abuse. And this will actually be the uh, it'll add the shear strength to it, <clears throat> so we won't need no diagonal bracing because it's just going to be a completely back. And you can see how rigid it is already. So we put that OSB on there. This will be a very durable, very durable door. So, we're just going to wrestle this into place, get it close. Now we'll slide it into place, get that glue spread a little bit. And all we're going to do, just get it centered up as best as possible. And we're just going to use uh, just staples. And it's fitting the door really nicely. So that'll work. So we'll get the staple gun and we will go around the outside with it and And that should do it. So we'll go ahead and get this door flipped over. We'll put the hinges on the uh, door itself here, and then we'll finish it up at the sawdust bin. And this will hold the sawdust back from blowing out. And I think this will work great. So one more door to make, and we'll be ready to install them. So I'll be with you here in a minute. Hey, this is the hinge I chose. Um, it's just a basically a very heavy duty T hinge. And all we're going to do is just fold the hinge on itself and just center it up by eye. And we're going to use what they call a VIX bit. And this here rides the inside of this to center it. And then the bit itself drills the pilot hole. 
So basically, it takes all the guesswork out of it and gives you a nice center hole. And we're going to use them same screws, the inch and a quarter hinge screws. And we'll go ahead and repeat this process and this will be really a strong, very strong door. Okay, next time you'll see us is we'll be at the sawmill and we'll go ahead and get these things hung onto the bin. We'll be with you there in a minute. All right, well, we got the doors finished up and I was gonna take them up and put them on the mill here tonight, but that's not the case. It stormed out there like you wouldn't believe. So, didn't get it done. Uh, I would like to have had these onto the bin tonight, but uh, Mother Nature says no way. So, I will see everybody at the sawmill with the Eddie Horvath on Saturday morning. So, everybody have a great rest of the week and I will talk to you then. Bye-bye.